I'm Daniel Rivera live in Winston-Salem at the Empty Bowls event. So what happens? Well, cars, they drive up and then they pick which soup that they had already purchased and they get one of these bags and it's got two empty bowls in it, right? So their bowls get filled and then they pay to have somebody else's bowls get filled and that way we can help feed our neighbors. All right, with us right now is Eric Apt. He's the CEO of Second Harvest Food Bank. All right, so with inflation, I mean, everybody's felt that squeeze. How has that affected Second Harvest? It's been a really difficult time for our neighbors in the region. The fact is that we've seen a 42% increase in requests for services if we look back March of last year to March of this year. So it's a tough time. Everybody's feeling that pinch of inflation and a lot of other challenges right now. I know Second Harvest helps local food programs, and we're talking about a big service area, Boone to Burlington. So kind of give us an idea of how you guys help those programs. Yeah. We're very proud to serve the entire 18 counties of Northwest North Carolina, and we have a 515 uh, programs that we serve in that region. There are partner agencies that are on the ground every day helping to feed folks, and we supply over 70% of the food that those groups are providing. So we are the backbone of all those organizations that are helping our neighbors facing food insecurity. All right, and so let's talk about this. So many people always want to donate food, which is great, but tell me why monetary donations are really helpful. Yeah, the fact is, is that we can leverage the dollars that people provide through our networks of purchasing food through uh, North Carolina farms, other food sources, that we can make sure to stretch those dollars to make sure that when you donate, that we can bring in even more food uh, and, and impact more families. Yeah, because you hear this all the time, right? You know, um, your dollar donation is not like another dollar donation, right? Because it can stretch. Exactly, because we leverage it to get donations from uh, food producers, but also area grocery stores and others. So we're really looking at ways to maximize those donations to, you know, literally triple and even up to seven, uh, a, a dollar can bring in up to seven uh, meals for a family. Right, so that means that when you spend five bucks at the grocery store to buy whatever canned goods, they actually could have multiplied it by a whole lot more. Um, just real quickly, as people are wondering, you know what we hear about food, pantry, donations all the time. When am I going to stop hearing about that? And it's kind of like, well, food, you know, you got to use it. Yeah, that's exactly right. Food is foundational. We need it every single day. So we are here to make sure we're providing it every single day for kids going to school, for our seniors and, and families in need in the region. Um, we've got a lot of economic issues that we need to fix in our communities across the region. Until we can kind of get those things right and get policies that work well for people, we're going to be here and we need people to step up to help the families who are just finding needing a little help to get food on their table. All right. We're going to let you get back to handing out the bags. What I want you to do is know that I put it on the website right now for you, an easy donation link. In fact, it says donate here. So all you got to do is go to the two wants to know section and take a look.